From virtual to real, Nissan presents GT Academy Race to Dubai. Over the next few months, a selection of Nissan's youngest racing drivers will be training for one of the world's toughest endurance races, the Dubai 24 Hours. Well, we follow the highs and their lows as they attempt to make the grade in the world of professional motorsport. Unlike your average racer, there's one thing that makes these guys unique. They all learn their craft on a PlayStation. This is the race to Dubai. Since 2008, GT Academy has been turning out PlayStation gamers, the the turning them into racing drivers. It's very different because we're getting guys from the, the virtual world. We take the world's top Gran Turismo racers and select the quickest, most promising driver. A few weeks later, you're a world driver of Nissan. Normally, it takes you 20 years to get uh, to a fantastic level, but we will hope that they, one of them will manage it in two, in two, three months. GT Academy now is a genuine opportunity for somebody to fast track the whole motor racing pursuit of progression and enter top class world motor racing in one jump. This year, the selection process starts all over again. 36 of the fastest online gamers from around Europe will be shortlisted for race camp at Silverstone. It's got a good camp and have a chance uh, to be a professional race driver. It's just a dream, really. Well, ever since I was little, I wanted to be a pro racing driver. The opportunity is just going to grab it with both hands. If I win, I'd be the happiest person in the world. Well, the winner will get to race in one of the world's toughest endurance races, the Dubai 24 Hours 2013. Dubai may remain a dream for one gamer, but this program has already produced three professional racing drivers since it began four years ago. It was a fantastic prize and, you, you know, the opportunity of my life to, to become a racing driver. Fifteen months ago, I was I, I never stepped into a race car, never been to a racetrack before. Really amazing and sometimes I still can't believe it. Just really cool just to say I'm a professional racing driver. One of the most experienced of those three is the first winner, Spanish business student Lucas Ordinez. In 2008, I won GT Academy. The prize was Dubai 24 hours in, at the beginning of 2009. And he had a driver in Rob Barth who was on hand to help Lucas through his early development. We've got a gamer going round, it's, it's real. After the great wrestle at Dubai, I compete in the GT4 European Cup with the uh, IGN Motorsport Nissan team. You can put guys in a racing car and they just drive around all day, whereas Lucas gets in it and he competes, he races, he catches, he passes, he overtakes. We did quite well. Uh, we won two races and uh, we finished second in the championship. And then in uh, 2010, I had the, the opportunity to do it again, to do, repeat GT4 European Cup. The year after, in 2011, he had the chance to drive for first time a LMP2 car. The best moment for me was the podium finish at Le Mans 24 hours in 2011. Today is uh, one of the most important days in my life. You feel the nervous during the night, and you're trying to sleep, and you're thinking on all the race. There will be many people over the coming 24 hours that fall because they haven't maintained focus. And here they come out onto the straight, and David, it's nearly ready to go. Big kick of smoke out of somebody, but the race gets underway now.
Lucas teammate Frank Mayo started the race as the debutant waited tentatively in the pits. Well, as Frank pitted, his moment arrived. Definitely, it was a very tough first stint here in Le Mans. I was managing to save the, the traffic and all was good. Well, his second stint came in the night and Lucas showed he was every bit the racing driver. Here in the pit stop in about 20 minutes. Then I'll do maybe a double stint or maybe a triple stint. He did a, a great job, no mistake, and increased the gap with the following guy behind us. The night was, was tough in, June, in Porsche course. Uh, there was a lot of the smoky barbecues, but it's been the best thing in my life. Well, his team crossed the line second in class. Lucas became the first ever gamer to podium at Le Mans. What a fantastic day, what a fantastic couple of years. Yeah, here we are on podium in Le Mans, my first time, so, yeah. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling, it's the best feeling I had in my life. At the beginning I was feeling like it was not real, now I feel like a proper racing driver. And now this year I signed with a Gris Motorsport Nissan team, driving Le Mans 24 hours and also joining the team for European Le Mans series. Well, after the Spanish success, the programme re-emerged in 2010. I won Chicha Academy in 2010. Jordan! <laughs> Frenchman Jordan Tressard beat over 1.2 million gamers to be crowned. I started in GT4 Cup with Argent Motorsports. I managed to finish fourth in the driver's ranking. So for the first year, I was pretty pleased with that. I think the best moments, it's winning Spa 24 hours last year in GT4. To get pole. John's teammate Alex Buncombe started the race in pole position before handing over to the Frenchman. Very good stint. It was quite easy. It had been quite short, to be honest. When Bob told me three more laps, I said, um, Ole, okay. Well, during the night, the team hit problems and dropped into second place. Well, the suspension problem and then. Uh, Bad luck with the puncture, which also broke the damper. Oh no, the car is working fine for the moment. We will see in a couple of more hours where we are. Well, they fought back to regain top spot. We are currently first in GG4. There is only one more hour to go, so because the fingers, the car will hold on. And indeed held out to date victory at one of the most difficult circuits yeah, in the world. Yeah, awesome, you know, it's just awesome, it's magic track and yeah, winning 24 hour race here, here it's just awesome. To finish 24 hour race is, is a privilege and uh, it's very hard work. We won spot 24 hours and on five races we won two times and finished four times on the podium, so it was a very good year for me. Well, Jordan winning the Blanche Brown series and gaining promotion to LMP2 racing. The bar, it's been set high for the 2011 graduate. 15 months ago, playing on a PlayStation, I still to sort of wake up and think, blimey, I'm a, I'm a racing driver, this is, this is weird. It does take a few moments to realise that I'm not a normal student anymore, I'm a professional racing driver. I love it, it's, it's fantastic. But it wasn't all straightforward for the teenager, oh no. But a couple of bad moments. I was very eager to impress. It was at Zandvoort, had a little incident over there. I may have pushed a bit too hard. When that incident happened in Zandvoort, I was just surprised actually. Because it wasn't as if we were in qualifying and we said, OK, push. It was a free practice session and he was learning the track and building up speed.
delivery of the car back into the tire wall at 80 miles an hour. Once I landed in the car, my heart just sank. I knew instantly the race weekend was over. I looked out the window and uh, there was coolant spraying in my lap and the bonnet was ruined. It came out of the blue, really. It really was a shock. The first thing is the absolute fear that, 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 that the driver's OK. Later on, you think, oh, you know, when you're putting the car in the truck with a, with a with the digger and a, a lifter and a... And then you think, oh, this poor car, you know, and this is going to be a big, a big fight back to get it going again. Well, over coming the crash was a huge setback, but Jan went on to achieve his international driving licence and earn a seat in Dubai alongside Lucas Jordan and 2011 GT America winner Bob Highcutter, Brian Highcutter, I should say. Travelling abroad for the first time internationally, anyway, for my first race, and then coming third in the race just incredible, especially doing it with all the three other GT Academy drivers. I'm really, really proud that the GT Academy team finished it. Four years ago, four gamers in the car, I'd say, well, you must be joking. A year from now, I'd love to be competing in Le Mans, especially with uh, Jordan and Lucas, GT Academy guys in the same car. That would be fantastic. All three previous winners have a seat in a Nissan race car. 24 hours of Dubai 2013. The only thing that hasn't been decided yet is who their teammate will be. Yes, a panel of experienced international drivers will have a tough task selecting just one gamer to join them. And over the course of a one week intensive race camp at Silverstone, they'll do it. An endurance driver needs to be quick, but that's not the most important quality. What we're looking for is someone reliable. I'm looking for somebody who I would potentially be happy to hand my car over to at a pit stop in one of the world's leading endurance races. When you're a racing driver, you need to have the spirit and the eager to win. They might be uh, super quick on the, on the PlayStation, but it doesn't mean that they will be quick in, in the race car. Good enough, guys. Welcome to GT Academy. And this is going to be a really tough week for you guys, but it can potentially change your life. So grab your stuff. Go on. Coming next time on the Race to Dubai. To excited, pretty excited. Well, it was definitely shaky. It's crazy how much you get in a short period of time. From virtual to real, Nissan presents GT Academy Race to Dubai.